The read then speak question is challenging. It's one of the most difficult questions on the test. If you want to get a higher production score, go through these five steps to help you do that. Let's get started right away and waste no time. Step one is pretty easy. We're going to use the question to help us structure the answer. And I call this, I would like to talk about. For example, if the question says, discuss something that you were thankful for recently, we're going to start the answer by saying, I would like to talk about something that I was thankful for recently, or I would like to discuss something that I was thankful for recently. Step two is called the who, what, where, when, how, why. Step number three is called use the core ideas. If you're not familiar with core ideas, check out this video here and it will give you a breakdown of how you can use basic ideas of life and apply them to almost every type of question that shows up. Step four is called bullet points. Now that you've gone through your two reasons and you finish that, we move on to the bullet points. Step five is a conclusion. We've probably already been speaking for close to one minute and 20 seconds, so we have just a few seconds left. All right, let's get right into it. We'll talk about the first sample question. Discuss something you were thankful for recently. Why were you thankful? How did you show that you were thankful? Did you thank someone? If so, who? Starting with the introduction. I'd like to talk about something that I was grateful for recently, which was Thanksgiving Day. That's your first sentence. Step number two, the key questions. The who, what, where, when, how, why. In the USA, this takes place every November on the third Thursday, marking the beginning of the Christmas holiday. Our family normally drives for about four hours to our grandparents' house to celebrate. Step three, two reasons and examples. First of all, Thanksgiving is a time of year that all of our relatives come together. We don't have much of a chance during the rest of the year to reunite and all be in the same room, so it's special. My grandparents, my aunts and uncles and my cousins all gather and catch up on each other's lives. There's nothing like the warm atmosphere at that time. Additionally, Thanksgiving is a time for us to enjoy some pretty amazing food. We share turkey, stuffing, sweet potatoes, green bean casserole, salad, cranberry sauce, and so many other dishes. Step number four, the bullet point. I showed that I was thankful by helping to clean up afterwards. After the big feast, mountains of dishes and pots and pans were in the kitchen to clean and scrub. My brothers and I lent a hand and made sure that my grandparents could just take a rest. I was also certain to sincerely thank my grandmother personally because she and grandpa were the ones responsible for the turkey, which turned out perfect. Step five is our conclusion. Ultimately, Thanksgiving Day is something that I've always been grateful for. Thanks everybody for tuning in. I hope these five steps helped you for the read then speak question. Please subscribe, share this video with your friends. And if you're still wondering whether to take the TOEFL or the Duolingo test, check out this video right here for some great ideas.